Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to talk about the subject of where does real learning happen? Well, I think that a lot of learning happens at school, but at the same time, I think a lot of learning happens from just living and also from uh, basically doing your best to try to learn things by yourself. Because if you only rely on learning stuff at school, then you're not going to actually be able to learn properly. If you think about it, when uh, the reason that people go to school in some way is, yes, you are trying to learn from, uh, from whatever is happening in class, but then at the same time, what needs to happen is that you need to actually be able to take whatever was introduced to you in a classroom and then for you to actually go back to your house and start trying to figure out how you can uh, get it to perfection and really own these things because yes it's very very simple to do stuff in order to basically get a good grade in school or in order to just pass a class or, or whatever but realistically speaking if you really want to own something then you need to just basically oh well, that's better you need to actually try to uh, master it and in order to master the things you need to do it over and over and over again and uh, basically really own the things because if you think about it okay school will give you the basics it's there to kind of introduce you to a vast for numerous amount of subjects and then once you've mastered whatever the class can give you at the school then you need to really start to master this in uh in real life and mastering it in real life takes a lot more work um, they often have music classes or Spanish class or whatever language class or physics and all that thing all the shebang which is cool but the problem is is that if you don't actually start to try to learn the things by yourself then you're not going to actually be able to really know those things most of the time I think that music geniuses or uh people who are really good at programming and stuff like that they just have a fascination for it and even when they're not in class what they do in their spare time is basically go in front of that computer or go in front of that piano and just play or or play well play basically with whatever they they kind of know in order to try to master it master it and the thing is that the exploration also comes by creating the synapses within your brain that are deep enough so that they become part of you because you can't really expect to just know stuff off the bat it's not it's not possible it's 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 not something that's innate in us some people might have some sort of affinity to one thing or another but most times it's because they're a little bit good at something and then once they find out that they're good at something in some little small way then they just think it's fun to kind of like explore that activity or that subject over and over again and try to become really good at it and that's that's where where a lot of the learning comes now a lot of learning also comes obviously from what your parents teach you so having good habits will inevitably well the parents good habits will inevitably go towards the children and the children will also have good habits from just basically having been taught these things like sometimes I know a lot of people don't like reading but that has to do mostly because of the fact that I think uh, maybe they just read at school and that's about it and uh, their the parents have never really read to them but if you kind of understand and uh, are able to introduce your kids or introduce your brain in such a way that it's it's considered a fun activity 
then maybe you'll actually be able to uh, appreciate it and not actually have to um, have a bad a bad bad rep so that's the thing and I think also like um, things that maybe were really difficult to you at one time can actually become easy if you apply yourself enough and are obsessed enough to actually want to learn that thing and become good at it which I don't think is, is that uh, un, un, uh, unthinkable in some way you know so here we are like trying to understand where a lot of the learning comes and also like whatever diploma you have I think one thing that you have to understand too is that um, no matter how good you are at your class once you are in the field where you're hired by a company they are going to want you to do things in a specific way and you're gonna have to learn that and that's something that you're not gonna have learned in school no matter how good you are and of course if you are good at something well it kind of makes sense that obviously you're gonna catch on to it much faster than you would have if you weren't actually already trained in the field but knowing how companies work and how people work they all have their own way of wanting to do something and you're gonna have to be inevitably retaught and then once you're taught those things and you start working it then <laughs> what's funny is that you're gonna actually maybe even improve on whatever was taught to you and you'll be able to teach the other people in the company uh, these kind of practices too and they'll also be able to adopt them so yeah definitely basically a lot of the learning starts I think at home first of all uh, how your parents are raising you and what you're exposed to on a, on a daily basis in some way and then afterwards it'll come from the classroom and then afterwards it'll be from whatever job hires you and then also it's gonna be from how much obsession you have over something you know if that makes sense because if you get obsessed with something and not in a bad way because people think obsession is bad but I'm just saying like it's a goal for you and you just enjoy uh, exploring that part of the subject the world the music whatever it is you're trying to learn then you're actually able to expand on it and it becomes part of your daily life and the body tends to adapt to what y you need same with for example stretching you can start out very stiff but it's because also the body has limitations and it knows its range of motion and when you get past it it might not be that you're actually that stiff but it's just that the body basically has learned that that is your maximum movement that you can do and not to push it more otherwise it's gonna hurt you and it's trying to protect you basically from uh, from that so that's all I have to say about the subject hope hope you enjoyed this talk and let's uh, connect soon have a good day bye